Hey YouTubers, 95 Speed GTA. Now that we're getting towards the end of the year of 2011, I'm going through my external hard drive, and I got a lot of projects I haven't put on YouTube that I will be putting up. So when you see a year and a month that's way past what it is now, it's because I put it up late. But anyway, uh, this video, well not video, but uh, this slideshow I made when um, I didn't have a camera, and in the beginning of 2010 I was just starting to make videos. And I found that making a video was a lot easier than taking pictures and narrating just like this. Sometimes it's good, but whatever. Anyway, today I'm going to show you guys how to convert your 82 to 92 Pontiac Firebird. Now I'm going to leave Camaro out of this, but they're pretty much the same. But I'm going to leave it out of it. Your 82 to 92 Pontiac Firebird um, to accept rear shoulder belts. Now don't quote me on this but I think 1988 was the last year of lap belts and maybe 89 not sure but somewhere around there was the last year of lap belts and I know the 90 to 92 Firebirds they all have shoulder belts so I'm gonna show you how to convert it over alright first things first uh, you gotta acquire or find out if you want uh, the solid back or split fold 50-50 uh, seats. If you want to split fold and your car didn't come with split fold back seats, look at one of my videos. I have a procedure on how to do that. But if you're going to keep a, if you're going to keep it full, just like your original factory design was, what you want to do is track down another seat from a 1990 up that has shoulder belts, because what this has is it's going to have reinforced sides and it's going to have two screws. Uh, they're actually I think hex screws or torque screws and um, they have a little um, a little belt holster on it so uh, it, the seat itself will accept the shoulder belts uh, and once you do that what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna strip the you're gonna strip them down you're gonna reuse your fabric so you don't have to mix, mix match interiors you're gonna reuse your fabric and this is how you're gonna do it on the bottom of the seat part there's gonna be a long zipper and what you're gonna wanna do is just unzip it and once you unzip it there's going to be some things you have to detach and when you do that it's pretty much kind of like taking off a coat you just slip it off okay you see how the fabric uh, ugh, you see how the fabric is slightly lifted over well there's a reason for that there's actually two strips of material that go down into the foam padding that are attached by a hog ring to the base um, and what I mean by the base the frame of the seat and what you have to do is you have to detach that and to do that you're supposed to use a hog ring plier I just used a really long pair of needle nose and once I took them off I was able to free the material from that halfway point alright moving right along next you want to remove this bad boy that is the latch release so you lift it and push the seat down when you want to fold the back seats down and make the car a two seater or if you picked up some garbage on the side of the road um, this is really easy to do but just don't forget about the spring that's behind it the retractor spring um, in there I, I don't remember the size I think it's a T25 or T45 I don't quote me I don't remember but it's a uh, Torx bolt and you need to use um, a Torx socket to get it out and uh, turn it very carefully I would spray a little bit of WD-40 in there or uh, the penetrating catalyst by PB Blaster and uh, once you take that out you can move on yeah so again um, the, uh, once you roll the fabric up or just pull it up it's gonna come off and again this is what's gonna be exposed as you could tell in the right seat back we have a little bit of damage done to the left portion you can fix that or you can just leave it alone I'm really not a professional when it comes to upholstery I just pick up things as I go so if you have any ideas on how to fix that, um, I already thought of a couple in my head, but if I, if I tell you guys or I display, it's just going to take way too long, and it's just going to drag this whole process out. So um, you don't have to fix it. <clears throat> I actually didn't fix mine, and it went back absolutely fine. So once you got this, you got the seat stripped down. Be careful if you're going to reuse the fabric you just took off, um, and pretty much clean up everything. All right, once we're ready, we could do one of two things. <clears throat> this plate right here is the plate that I need to use for um, 
you know, for my project because on the top left hand corner, I'm sorry, the top right hand corner, it's got the two screw holes and the reinforcements for me to be able to put um, the top shoulder restraint, um, uh, the, ch the top shoulder restraint for the rear seat belts on so I could have shoulder belts. Uh, you can transfer the foam piece from your old seat set to this or you could use the existing one. It basically all matters on which one is in better condition. So after you do that, um, I put adhesive on this and I put mine, I put my foam piece down. Um, and I also reused hog rings in the specified places. If you look, to the, if you go to the middle of this uh, piece and you go straight down, and if you look to your left and your right, you'll see two like little indications. That's where the hog rings uh, originally were. So. That's what you do. All right, uh, there's the reinforcement part of the seat back, and there are the two screw holes I was telling you about. Um, once you slip the new cover over, it's going to be easy to do this. When you slip the new cover over, you're just going to find those holes on the left hand side or right hand side. And uh, what I did was I just got a um, I got a pick, and I just punched holes in them, um, and uh, I was able to put my uh, restraint post that goes up on the side with without a problem at all. All right, the material from our old seat slipped on the new seat very, very easily. Now we're gonna make the holes, and that's pretty much it. Take your punch and punch out the two holes so you could screw on that post, and that's pretty much it. And in the end, there you have it. You have your holes ready, you could put your, um, you could put your seat in and uh, run the seat belt. There's one other thing you gotta do and uh, the main part of the seat belt itself actually is uh, welded on a mount. Well, the mount is welded to the frame and it's held in by a really big bolt. Um, if I could find the video on how to convert that, I'll show you how to do that as well. But remember that if you're going to do this, you need a donor card not only with the seats, but you got to take the bracket off of, uh, off of the w rear wheelhouses so you could, and also the seat belts as well so you could do this project. So YouTubers, this is 95 Speed GTA. If you have any other questions about this project, just send me an email at x x905 speed gta at aol.com. It's really simple and uh, just remember to take those brackets for the um, rear seat belts that sit on top of the rear wheelhouses. YouTubers, 95 Speed GTA, over and out.